This election day, four states will have the freedom to marry on the ballot. But there's a fifth crucial state this election, Iowa. Back in 2009, the state Supreme Court unanimously overturned the state's ban on marriage. And now, anti-gay activists are spending hundreds of thousands of dollars to throw each of those justices out of office. At the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum, and welcome to a special episode of Marriage News Watch. In Iowa, Supreme Court justices are appointed by the governor, but then after a few years, each one has to face a popular vote to remain on the bench. That's why Justice David Wiggins is fighting to keep his job. Ordinarily, judicial retention votes don't get a lot of attention, but that changed in 2009 after the court overturned a marriage ban. Since then, anti-gay groups like the National Organization for Marriage and the Family Leader have been on a crusade to unseat every single justice who ruled on that case. Back in 2010, Nam spent $635,000, according to the Omaha World Herald, to unseat three of those justices. And all three lost their elections. So far this year, our opponents have spent $248,000 to unseat this one judge. More than half of that money came from the National Organization for Marriage. They're using the money to run ads like this one. If David Wiggins can impose his liberal values and redefine marriage, many of our Iowa traditions and rights are at risk. It's hard to predict the outcome of this election. Unlike the judges in 2010, Wiggins is campaigning to keep his seat. And polling has been mixed. According to TIR Voter Consumer Research, Wiggins has 40% support, but a Des Moines Register poll shows him with 49%, and a public policy polling survey shows him with 37%. We're now just days away from the deadline to vote. You can learn more about this race and others at afer.org slash election2012. At the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum. Thanks for watching.